G'day, g'day, g'day again. <laughs> Welcome, Wealthy Wanderers. Today, I wanted to talk about, um, I guess it's step one for a lot of people because we've got a lot of different people in different stages, but I thought we'd start right at the beginning. And the first step really is to clarify exactly what you want, because if you don't clarify kind of your lifestyle, your dream lifestyle, where you want to be, how you want it to look, how you, you know, every kind of as much detail as possible, then you can't really make it a reality. Um, it's almost, depending on your beliefs, it's kind of like, you know, whatever you put out to the universe, um, the universe will give you, but you've got to be really clear on what that is. Um, and, you know, right down to the last detail, otherwise you might end up with something that you don't really want. So the best way to do that is to do some research, um, you know, different places, see how you feel about different places. At the moment is the perfect time to be, you know, doing that research and doing it all virtually. There's so many different ways that you can find things virtually. Good old Google is wonderful. Another way you can do it is by journaling. And I'm currently looking at um, getting some um, beautiful journals available for you. But um, there is a gratitude journal in my free resources on my website. But journaling on anything, you know, it just doesn't matter. As long as you just write it, will get you clarity on what it is that you really want. So what is it do you really want? So where do you start with that? And the best place to start is really about kind of getting details about your travel style and your travel personality. So your travel style is, you know, how do you prefer to travel? So if you look at, you know, train, um, car, uh, RV, which are really popular now, which is awesome, flying, which will come into, you know, um, further down the track, um, although there are some places to safely fly to. Um, so, you know, what is your style? Do you prefer going on road trips? Do you prefer, um, you know, four-wheel driving? Um, do you prefer, um, you know, going to resorts and, and hanging out in resorts? What is your, you know, preferred style of travel? And the other part too is your travel personality. So do you prefer to do tours when you get somewhere um, or do you prefer to, um, you know, laze about on the beach or um, go to the spas or uh, outdoor spas at the moment? <laughs> do you, what, what sort of, what is your personality? Do you prefer, like, at the moment we're, we're in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, and you could, um, there's a few different areas that you can stay in. So knowing your travel personality is really important. If you choose to be really close to Fifth Avenue, which is the tourist area, then you've got to be okay with kind of people partying till the wee hours. And I mean, you know, all through the night pretty much. And, you know, and if that's your, your travel personality where you really love to get into the amongst it and, and celebrate and, and kind of, you know, just party and stuff, that's great. Um, if you prefer something quieter, then you'll want to choose a slightly different sort of um, area to stay in. So knowing your travel personality, what you like, what you don't like, foods, my husband will always be talking about food and he researches the food places. Um, so, you know, what, what sort of um, foods do you like? What sort of do you prefer to eat out outdoors at the moment obviously um, or do you prefer to you know um, cook yourself you can go to local markets or what what is your travel personality so really getting clear on these things helps you to a make them come true and b help you to actually make them come true so you can do the rest of your your planning and everything so that's it from me today. There is a freebie on my um, website, teganmarshall.com, um, that is the, a visualization. It's kind of like a meditation without the too much of the, the, the woo-woo stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a gentle kind of visualization where once you get clear on what it is that you want, you can then visualize that. And that really um, helps to make it turn into a, your dream into a reality. So those are my tips for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and um, keep that dream alive and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.